Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video I want to show uh, one of my projects I uh, made a while ago. Uh, this is a graphics card with the VGA output. It was made uh, for uh, one of my single board computer projects. Uh, it generates image uh, very similar to uh, the famous uh, ZX Spectrum by Sinclair. I chose this particular display mode for it because it allows me to fit the entire video memory into the 8 kilobytes. And as you know, um, for 8-bit computer systems, um, it's only 64 kilobytes available. And having such a small footprint for the display output is uh, very, very beneficial. This card uh, works in two modes. It can work in a standalone mode by displaying a static image uh, from uh, this 8 kilobyte EEPROM chip, or you can remove it and connect via this bus to the memory of your a single board computer, uh, your prototyping on a breadboard, or something like that. Um, if you want uh, to know exactly how the video signal is generated. Uh, I'm going to refer you to this excellent video made by Ben, where he explains uh, how to uh, generate VGA signal uh, using the uh, various digital logic gates, uh, counters and uh, flip-flops. Uh, this card uses the same principle, but instead of using the separate uh, logic gate ICs, uh, it has everything, uh, all logic needed to generate the signal integrated into this uh, CPLD. Uh, this uh, CPLD is driven by the VGA clock. It is uh, 25.175 uh, MHz. It's a standard pixel clock for the 640x480 60Hz uh, display mode. Uh, so uh, the resolution of the output is, uh, of course, this smaller. It's like a ZX Spectrum 256 by uh, 192 pixels mm, plus uh, border. So uh, the main components on these boards are the CPLD uh, chip itself that drives this uh, EEPROM and reads data from it and sends the data to the uh, digital to analog converter that is implemented as a resistor network. Um, the signal uh, from the CPLD is fed through these uh, buffers to have just a clean output on the VGA. Uh, like I mentioned before, if necessary, the EEPROM chip uh, can be removed and uh, all the driving signals for uh, the external memory are exposed via this uh, pin header. This board also has a JTAG programming uh, header. If, uh, for example, you need to um, slightly modify the digital logic on this CPLD, or if you want to implement a totally different mode. For example, now you can replace uh, 8 kilobyte EEPROM chip uh, with a 32 kilobyte one um, and uh, uh, change the program to uh, generate a uh, 16 color. Uh, picture without any attributes, without having where each pixel will have its own color. This is also possible. This board is very simple to assemble. Uh, all components are through hole. It's a two-layer board. Um, the SMD component CPLD is mounted using this through hole PLCC uh, socket. Uh, also, it has a socket for the CPU and uh, for the memory and for uh, to uh, Schmidt trigger buffers. Uh, now I'm gonna use my uh, VGA upscaler and I'm gonna show you um, the picture that this graphics card can generate. Uh, okay, uh, everything is connected and uh, you can see on your screen the first level from uh, load runner game. Uh, on ZX Spectrum, uh, basically what I did is I used the screenshot from uh, this game on ZX Spectrum and just duplicated it in a GIMP, uh, drawing pixel by pixel, and converted it to binary format and uploaded it to the, um, this EEPROM chip. Image uh, you can is actually very crisp if you connect it to the CRT or um, older LCD panel with the VGA input. 
on this screen it's kind of like a little bit blurred because uh, that's how the uh, upscaler basically stretches the image to fit the 1080p resolution. If you're curious about how this graphics card can be used, uh, this is uh, the, my single board computer, uh, which has this card integrated into it. As you can see, this is a placeholder for the uh, CPLD, for the graphics memory, uh, buffers, and resistor-based uh, digital audio converter with a VGA output. Um, in uh, next videos, I'm gonna uh, show you actually how this uh, computer works, uh, and uh, I'm gonna show you one of my uh, prototype games I made for it, when it's gonna be assembled and running. I hope this little project of mine was interesting for you. Uh, if you want to see more videos about uh, building 8-bit or 16-bit uh, retro computers, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell icon so you won't miss anything. Um, see ya! Bye-bye!